All right, so I wanted to show it the slideshow. So this is the demo of the slideshow that we're going to make. You can see that it's got five different slide types out of the box. So we get the first one, which is just an image. The second one, we get a text on the top. Third one, text on the bottom, little bar there. Fourth one, we get 50% text on the left. And the fifth one, we get 50% text on the right. So we'll go to the demo here which is just a brand new installation of Pyro. Oh, there's my notes. So if we go here to the slideshow demo, then installation is just going to be create a new default folder and a new Fritz and Andre, the company that I work for. We'll drag that slideshow module in there. Then we can go ahead and install it. So you've got the slideshows down here. So we can install that. It'll seed with the five slide types that I just showed you. And we can go here into slideshows and we can see we have the fields here. The default ones are just title and image. You can add more and we'll add one a little bit later. And then the types starts with no text, text top, text bottom, text 50% left, text 50% right. So those are the same ones that we showed earlier. So let's go ahead and make a slideshow. So we can create a new slideshow. Slideshows just have a name so that you can embed them on the page. So we'll just call this the home page slideshow. Go ahead and save that one. And then we have zero slides. So let's go ahead and add some slides. So we'll add a new slide here. This one's going to be the no text slide. We'll just call it no text. This name and slug are for the developer. The second area down here is going to be where the content of the slide actually goes. So let's go ahead and upload the no text slide. Select that one. Save it. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing for the other one. So text top. <clears throat> then this is actually going to be that bar that we were looking at earlier. Text top, go ahead and upload this. Save that guy. All right, here's the last one. Right. Okay, so now I have a slideshow. All we need to do is embed it in the home page. So we'll go here and we'll edit the welcome page. Down here, we can just say slideshow home page raw so we can see what it looks like just out of the box all right so there is the default slideshow we'll see that it has all the different slides <clears throat> then we can go ahead and look in the slideshow module which comes with a readme file open this guy oh it's going to open in xcode <clears throat> this will give us our, a couple of our options. So the default aspect ratio is 16 by 9, which is what I sized all of these images to, but it's not terribly difficult to change the aspect ratio. So we can come in here and just do a width by height, aspect for 3. Then we come back here, we can see that it has expanded to be a 4 by 3. It puts black bars in it. Maybe we don't want black bars, maybe we want a different color bar, so we can go ahead and say dot background color green. And we get some horrendous green bars on the outside of it, but it's super customizable. 
So the last thing that I wanted to show is just putting dot pager true in here, and this will actually show us the pager. Just inherits a bunch of different default styles from your site, so like the text color here is coming from those. But it does look like I forgot to put that in this comment here, so I'll make sure that's in there before anything else. But there you go, that's the slider. Thanks for watching. Bye. Sorry, there was one other thing that I wanted to show. Just the basic demonstration of using fields and stuff like that. So if we go into fields under slideshows, then we can add something like a URL field. Imagine that this would be fairly common. But really, you can do whatever you want. Go into types, no text. We can assign the URL field. You'll notice this is almost exactly the same as pages is. Now our no text slide type has that URL assignment. And if we edit this page here, then we can add a URL in there. And in the no text type, we have layouts inside of here. So if we wanted to add the URL in there, we could just say a href slide.url. Then when we come back in here, the first slide will now be clickable and it will take us to Google. Great.